Dragon of Doom by Bruce Coville. I'm going to start with a brief description of the characters. Edward is a good-natured, inquisitive little boy who lives in Pigbone. Nothing ever happens in Pigbone, and no one ever leaves Pigbone. Because of that, Edward knows absolutely nothing about the world, and he desperately wants to know more about the world beyond Pigbone. And he also wants some excitement in his life. His mother is a very minor character in the book. Um, She believes a boring life is perfectly fine because they have everything they need. And if they have everything they need, then there's no need to go anywhere else. Moongobble is a lovable wizard who is really terrible at magic. All of his spells end up turning things into cheese. Still, he is kind and giving to everyone he meets. Urk is his faithful toad. Irk is really smart and really sarcastic. Deep down, he loves Moongobble, but he constantly makes snide remarks about how he can't do magic well. Here's a brief description of the plot. Moongobble and Irk move into the cottage on the hill near Edward. Edward notices someone has moved in, and he goes to explore. Moongobble invites Edward to be his assistant. Edward is thrilled. He loves his time with Moongobble. The big problem is that Fazwad comes along. He is the head of the Society of Magicians. He comes to test Moongobble to see if he can be in the society. And you have to be in the society to practice magic. Moongobble fails terribly, but Urk, because he's so smart, knows that you can ask for three tasks. Fazwad gives him the first task, which is to um, find the treasure that is behind the Dragon of Doom. The group ends up making friends with the Dragon of Doom, so they get the treasure that they are supposed to. The book ends with Fazwad saying that they did pass the first task, and he needs time to think of the second task because he didn't expect Moongobble to pass the first task. So this is the first book in the series, and the second book in the series begins with the second task. The focus here is character differences, and you are going to be focused on all the ways that the characters' differences drive everything they say, everything they do, and how those differences cause problems. From here, my recommendation is to go into the lesson plan and quickly read the focus question and exemplar response for every single chapter in the book. After that, you should be all set to teach this book.